-hmm. Four astronauts are getting ready to dock at the International Space Station after their SpaceX rocket lifted off last night. The Axiom 2 flight is the second ever private mission to the orbiting lab. Now, it's also the first mission in 38 years for Saudi Arabia's space program. Mark Strassman has more on the launch. And liftoff, Falcon 9, go Axiom. Sunday's liftoff, picture perfect. Only the second time a commercial mission has launched for the International Space Station. A great view of Falcon 9 heading to space. Three space rookies and their commander, a former NASA pioneer. This is the Japanese module. Watch your head as we come in. Once again, Peggy Whitson is shooting high, heading back to space at age 63. It was a home away from home for me, and I really want to experience it again and let it en engulf me. This time, commanding a commercial mission to the space station. Here comes Whitson for uh, final farewells, final hugs, as she departs the space station. America's most experienced astronaut last left the ISS in 2017. She took three trips there as a NASA astronaut, totaling a record 665 days in space, with 10 spacewalks, another record for women. Could you have ever imagined you'd have the chance to go back? The realistic part of Peggy said, no, you're not likely to be able to. Pinching yourself? Uh, every day, every day, it is so exciting. <laughs> Her Axiom 2 crew includes two Saudi government astronauts, including the first Saudi woman in space, and John Schaffner, a 67-year-old Knoxville entrepreneur, pilot, and lifelong adventurer. Is it what you expected? No, it never is. You know, Whitson and Schaffner walked us through the ISS training mock-up at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, then talked about his first trip to space. When did the space bug first bite you? My earliest recollection is 1963, and it never left. We even had a young astronauts club when I was eight years old. <laughs> and we, John was the leader. <laughs> I was the commander. <laughs> um, well, of, of two people. <laughs> Axiom 2's crew will fly aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon to the ISS. Total time aboard, eight days. Price tag, unknown, but Schaffner's paying his own way, presumably in the millions. But Whitson and Schaffner agree. This is more than a rich guy's space junket. There has always been an astronaut in me waiting to get out. I'm here to perform. She sets high expectations? Well, high expectations are her entry level. Okay. <laughs> this new space era is redefining the right stuff. You do need that sense of, I want to explore, I want to try something new. It's helpful to have an objective. I think that will build the strongest group of people in space. This crew will do a lot more than take selfies and look down on Earth. They'll perform more than 20 science experiments, including microgravity's effect on stem cell research. And Nate, if I was going to space, I'd want Peggy Whitson as my commander. Yes. No doubt go. about it. Mark, thank you.